Hello, I'm back. Okay, we studied about the simple present. Simple present versus simple past. Okay, so what? When do you? When do you? Usually, usually, uh, get up. This is a simple present. Simple past. When did you get up? Yesterday. This is simple past. When do you usually get up? That's simple present. Do you? That's simple present. And when did you get up last weekend? I mean yesterday. Last week. Did is past tense. Okay? So when the question is present tense, you gotta answer with the present tense. Simple present. When the question is simple past, you got to answer with a simple past. So when do you usually get up? I usually get up at 6. When did you get up yesterday? I got up at 7 yesterday. Okay, so just tense. Simple past, simple present. We are talking about. Okay, um, now let's open our book page 38, reading, reading, listen to this, page 38, exercise 2. Track 24. Thursday, June 20th. Today was a bad day. On Thursday, my children and I usually go to the park for a picnic. But today we had a problem. We drove to the store to buy groceries. And then the car broke down. I checked the engine and there was a lot of smoke. I think the engine overheated. Luckily, I had my cell phone. First, I called my husband at work. He left early, picked us up, and took us home. Next, I called the mechanic. Finally, I called Ling and asked for a ride to school tonight. In the end, we didn't go to the park because it was too late. Instead, we had a picnic in our backyard. Then, Ling drove me to school. Okay, she is pretty fast. But can understand. Okay, let's listen to this once again. Page 38, exercise 2, track 24. Thursday, June 20th. Today was a bad day. On Thursday, my children and I usually go to the park for a picnic. But today we had a problem. We drove to the store to buy groceries. And then the car broke down. I checked the engine and there was a lot of smoke. I think the engine overheated. Luckily, I had my cell phone. First, I called my husband at work. He left early, picked us up, and took us home. Next, I called the mechanic. Finally, I called Ling and asked for a ride to school tonight. In the end, we didn't go to the park because it was too late. Instead, we had a picnic in our backyard. Then. Ling drove me to school. Okay, then Ling drove me to school. Okay, let me ask you some questions. Number one, what is the main idea of Rosa's journal for June 20th? What is, what's the main idea for Rosa's journal? What's the main idea? It is about having a bad day, right? Having a bad day. 
And second, where do Rosa and her children go to? I mean, go on Thursday. Where do Rosa and her children go on Thursday? On Thursday, Rosa and her children usually go to the park. Number three, why was today a bad day? Why was today a bad day? Because Rosa's car broke down. Rosa's car broke down. Number four, who did Rosa call first? Who did Rosa call first? She called her husband first. And then, uh, what did Ling do? What did Ling do? She drove Rosa to school. And then, what? Okay, never mind. That's it. That's about it. Okay? Let's move to the next page. Next page. Page 39. Page 39. Listen to this. Picture Dictionary, Daily Activities. Page 39, Exercise 4A, Track 25. 1. Make lunch. 2. Take a bath. 3. Do the dishes. 4. Do the laundry. Five, get up. Six, do homework. Seven, take a nap. Eight, make the bed. Nine, get dressed. Okay, let's look at the pictures. Number one, repeat after me. Make lunch. Take a bath. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Get up. Do homework. Take a nap. Make the bed. Get dressed. Okay, you gotta memorize these stuff. Okay, these words goes together all the time. Okay, so uh, when you look at the picture here, you gotta remember what to say. Okay, this one, what does he do? Make lunch. Take a bath. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Get up. Do homework. Take a nap. Make the bed. Get dressed. Okay, do it again. Make lunch. Take a bath. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Get up. Do homework. Take a nap. Make the bed. Get dressed. Okay. Okay. Good.
Now, uh, let's skip the next uh, few pages and go to page 43. Page 43. Look at this one and listen. Make and do. Play and go. Unit 3, Lesson F. Watch and listen. Grammar Rule 1. Use do to talk about most chores. Exception. Make the bed. He does the laundry every morning. Did they do the housework yesterday? Grammar rule two. Use make for activities when you create or build something. She makes lunch every day. They made a robot last year. Grammar rule three. Use play with many sports, games, and musical instruments. He plays the piano in the afternoons. They played football last week. Grammar rule four. Use go plus verb plus ing for activities. She goes swimming every Saturday. Did they go hiking on the weekend? Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Complete the sentence. He does the laundry every morning. Did they do housework yesterday? She makes lunch every day. They made a robot last year. He plays the piano in the afternoons. They played football last week. She goes swimming every Saturday. Did they go hiking last weekend? Let's review. Did you do the dishes? We did the laundry after school. My mother made a dress. I made lunch. I made tacos. My brother plays baseball well. I play board games with my friends. Jenna plays the guitar. I usually go jogging in the morning. Do you go shopping on the weekends? Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, make, do, play, go. Make, do, play, go. Okay, sometimes you gotta use make. Other case, use do, play, go. Okay, so it says, in different situations, you got to choose which verb do you 
pig. Okay, do to talk about most chores. How's chores? You use do. Exception, make the bed. And what about make? Usually for activities when you create or build something. And then play with many sports, games, and musical instruments. Okay, let's see. Repeat after me. Did you do the dishes? We did the laundry after school. My mother made a dress. I made lunch. I made tacos. My brother plays baseball well. I play board games with my friends. Jenna plays the guitar. I usually go jogging in the morning. Do you go shopping on the weekends? Okay, let's find the, the correct verb among these words. Okay, first, biking. Go biking. And cars, play cars. Chores, do chores. Dinner, make dinner. Football, play football. Homework, do homework. Jewelry, make jewelry. Piano, play the piano. Breakfast, Make breakfast. Chess, play chess. Dancing, go dancing. Fishing, go fishing. Hiking, go hiking. Housework, do housework. Laundry, do the laundry. Pizza, make pizza. Okay, let's go to the table. Okay, repeat after me. Do dish, do chores. Do homework. Do housework. Do the laundry. And then make, make breakfast. Make dinner. Make jewelry. Make pizza. Next, play. Play cards. Play chess. Play football. Play piano. Play the piano, okay? And go, go biking, go dancing, go fishing, go hiking. Okay, in this way, you got to practice, practice, practice. So you can choose the correct verb with each word. Okay, okay, now this is about it. Uh, let's take another break.